What's going on, everybody? It is uh, Jeff and Justin here, the Frustrated Rockstars, back with some talk and roll with our special guest this week, Sully from 92.9 Dave. Santana Tessa. Moss. J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Uh huh. A sports team. Is that some sort of. That's what men do. A chance sports. Is that some sort of team? Yeah. yeah. You can wipe up the, the <laughs> ring stains when we're done, when the men are done. And That's Jeff good. doesn't like sports. But well, but we are here for some talk and roll. But we are going to yeah. talk about uh, sports and rock later. That will be our headliner. And, of course, we're doing this from the Atlanta Brewing Company. Mmm, delicious. Mm. We thank them so much for having us here. Great beer. And um, sports and rock, you know, we got the jersey. I know Justin's a big sports fan. You're I know, a sports fan. I know a few things. You know you don't. I know about rock. No, you don't. So your goal is worth three. Extra right. point is worth know, one. Listen, he might not know that. That's I how know bad the it is. I know that's, the that's how bad it is. Double but, dribble. What get, What sport? We're here. It's, it's basketball. But we are All right. Here, we're here Just for gauging. Uh, we're here for talking about. Uh, first, we do a current story with uh, the opening act. Are you ready? So tonight's opening act is about uh, EMI, the big record label. I mean, huge record label. They are now going to offer. Beatles. Well, yeah. I mean, they among are, others. Among yeah. <laughs> you know. They're going to they're gonna now Name offer dropper. this uh, instant concert recording. So when you go to a concert, you can leave the show and buy a CD of that show, master, done, mixed, right there on the spot. It's incredible. This is awesome. Can you imagine all your life? How many concerts have you seen? Well, a, a, a bunch. And you, you, you got to think that you know you go to karaoke sometimes. They they will print your performance right there on oh, a DVD do. or a CD <laughs> for you. So maybe they're just tearing a page out of that book. But uh, pe people in the record industry are going to have to be creative to make money. But I think this is something that uh, customers really want. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, bootlegs have been around for years, and then just the past few years, you know, other companies have gotten into this. Thing, but now this is the first time a major record label is going to be a part of it. So, you guys are driving home and you can listen to the show just, you know, when you're all buzzed. I'm actually not that excited about it. Wait, you're driving home buzzed? That's not cool. Never me. <laughs> well, you know, I don't drive. Okay. But, you know, yo, yeah. you're, you're, how am I going to play this in the taxi cab on the way home is my question. Come on. You know, the girl drives, whatever, but you can listen to the show. Yeah, you know, you've walked out, woo, you're all pumped up. Yeah, but think about this. How will drop 20 bucks for that. How many live albums do you buy, really? But it's a, it, it's the... It's the, the show you were at. It's the, it, it's the gratification purchase. It's the little chocolates yeah. at the cash register at Target <laughs> yeah. that you don't need. It's a happy but, ending. But you get them anyway, and that's exactly, I think, what they're going for in this. They want to just get that money while you're really in the heat of the moment. Like, I just saw you 2 or I just saw whoever, and I'm going to buy this DVD and CD right now. Yeah. Right now. Plus, and guys, it's recorded off the soundboard. It's not oh, like yeah. some bootleg... No, it's, mean, it's recorded and apparently mixed mastered. And, yeah. I, mean, I don't know how they're going to fly George Marino. George Marino, Sterling Sound. But, but apparently they're gonna. It's not just gonna be just right out the. It's not gonna be raw. They're actually gonna like yeah, you mash it right yeah. there on the spot. And and, and, you, and you go to the. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but you can go to the website and they have. You can download like video and everything for free. And two 15 year old kids from Modesto can you know master an album now anyway. So they <laughs> go find those kids on Facebook and bring them along and exactly. they'll do all the work. You know. I couldn't agree more. I think it's a great idea. Absolutely. I love it. Come I bet on. you you don't buy it next time we go to a concert. Well, maybe not now. But when I was 17, I saw Metallica for the first time, and I had $100 in my pocket. All right, good. Well, there you go. There's your opening act. So now let's check out the headline. All right, everybody. We're talking sports. You know, the whole concept of this is take out the sports and talk music and call it talk radio. Really excited to have a sports enthusiast next to me instead of this guy. I mean, <laughs> yeah. come on. I mean, he, it's the so so one bad. thing we're lacking is a sports relationship. I know. Well, you know, he's a dad now. He's got a lot to do on Saturday and Sunday afternoon. He can't watch well, the I didn't like it when I was no, saying a lot. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's horrible. But we're talking about sports and music, and there's so much parallel and there's so much overlap. Um, these, so day, these days there is. It doesn't see, It seems to me back like in the 80s or whatever, there wasn't Aerosmith playing at the Super Bowl. There wasn't this kind of cross-pollinization. You know, in, going back to high school, the Jocks and the, the, the Stoners kind of were point, separate. Actually. That's a good it point, actually. It goes back to high school, but now it's kind of blended. Well, the media's changed. Yeah. I mean, you know, now, you know, you have your halftime shows and you have your, you know, your uh, cross-promotions. You know, Pepsi has this guy and this guy. And Hank doing the Monday Night Football. Right. So, you know, huh? well, and even, even the Dave Matthews album, The Big Whiskey and the Gru Grux King, is the official album of ABC's college football coverage on Saturday for the entire really? season. Right. See, I didn't so, know. That. And that, that was because yeah. it was Dave Matthews, right. not because of the music. They were they're doing some cross So yeah, yeah, it's really kind of and there's songs that I think that have become part of the American lexicon because of their 
a tribulation to sports. Yeah. You know, Gary Glitter Rock, da 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 That song was going nowhere until it became part of stadium. Arenas that don't play that when the other when the team scores, I love you. Okay? <laughs> yeah. That should be gone. I want to ban that from Gary Glitter. You're a great human being, but I want you except evacuated the, from the building. Except for the child molestation. Well, we can forgive every. Sure. Michael Jackson, yeah. Come on, all right. Hey, Jeff forgave me. <laughs> well, hey. Well, that, that, yeah. Gary Glitter also wrote. Um, um, do you want to touch me there? Did he really? Oh, yeah. That's the Joe Jett song? Yeah. Do you want to touch? It's his song. But no one knows that because all they know is Rock and Roll Part 1. So part it's, all we, it's all we hear. Is it, it Part you know, 2? One, goal is one or two, whatever. Um, you know, We Will Rock You was revitalized oh through stadiums. Again. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, let's get it started. I mean, there's songs, uh, how about Whoop, There It Is during uh, the World Series? Oh, terrible, terrible. It, it took, yeah, but it took on a, I mean, uh, what's that, Who Let The Dogs Out? Oh, yeah. And the Macarena, remember the craze with that? The Macarena? I think what should happen is if you're playing in the playoffs and you're an NFL team in the home stadium and a field goal is missed by the other team and you end up winning, they should play something really respectful and appropriate. Beethoven's Ode to Joy, you know? da 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 I mean, you know, celebrate with some really good, appropriate music. Don't just play a bunch of little rap music by CNC Music Factory. <laughs> I think some bands, have, uh, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor, they made a whole career at Eye of the Tiger yep. from a Rocky movie. And of course, now it's, you know, every workout tape and every stadium. My algebra teacher even used it once. You know, bent, bent, bent. I mean, you hear that everywhere you go. I mean, well, I mean, I'm telling it's you. It's a I great mean, song. That's the one song that stadiums can still play in my book. What I, what I don't like is when they play the like hardcore rap during timeouts. Right. You know, you got a mixed audience, mixed audience, of like, you know, 60,000 people, and they're playing like this hardcore rap. You know, you're there with your kid. <laughs> I actually like when they play songs that we expect to hear. Right. There's something to be said. There's you know, a final, celebration. But you, you, you know, can, you can leave fun. out Cotton Eye Joe, though. I, I, can, <laughs> I can do it without Cotton Eye Joe. You do okay? Cotton Eye Joe. Take the Cotton Eye Joe and the rap music and you know put it over there. And your chicken fried by Zach Brown. I'll leave that out too. Well, now what about now in ba <laughs> now in baseball? The that's batters funny. can choose their their right. batting music. Is that that that's going on everywhere? That's right? new Not, though. Yeah. That's new, but uh, all the last teams few years. Do. Yeah. yeah. Chipper so, Jones plays Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. Um, a crazy going. train, right? Yeah. If I'm the batter, yeah. that's got to be heaven for him right. to get you pumped up to well, make whatever you want. Hey, think about it, too. When you were a little kid in the 80s, you know, you put the headphones <laughs> on and play Super Mario Brothers, right. right? I mean, that you want to have your own little soundtrack to get your yeah. energy, your mojo, your, your chi, your chai, all together. They're focused in. One thing we can all agree on is that athletes making music has not really worked out too well. I mean, we had the Super Bowl shuffle with the Chicago Bears. Which was a novelty song. But it was big. It was big. And everybody knew about it. It was, you know. And we all regret it now when we look back <laughs> at it. Those haircuts and those dances. I mean, what, did I choreograph that thing, you know? <laughs> all, all right, right. Well, good, good job, man. Anyway, wow, nice. Thank, Thank you so you. much for talk joining to us. for another hour. Uh, Sully, 92.9 Dave FM. He does afternoons. He's a big shot. For Anything now, else you want to plug? You know, just uh, please listen. Keep me employed. I pay my electric bill with every five minutes that you listen. So <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. Fantastic. And of course, you can subscribe to us in iTunes or Zoom and email us info at thefrustratedrockstars.com if you have comments or questions. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, Ooh. enjoy your music. because he broke his wrist so he has to like <laughs> shot put him but that's yeah. I broke mine too but I was mm -hmm. doing something else ah! you know? <laughs>